just about to set up the fishing and this is going to be the first I hope of uh, many blogs fishing vlogs as they say um, today is Saturday uh, I'm just popping off down to the local venue in Newport Morgan's Pond and there's a few of us fishing I don't think there's going to be many there um, but it's, it's a Saturday and it's a, a day's fishing that's the main thing uh, a little bit of commercial, a little bit of silvers mixed together. Let's see how I get on. Uh, we'll catch it down, down on the bank. Okay, see you then. Here we are, back at Morgan's Pond, is it? No, school pool. Oh, school pool. 200 pounds, I think. That's good. Is that what they had? About 200 pounds, isn't it? Uh, what's it? Well, the Gore-Tex? The Gore -Tex suit, you know, waterproof. Uh, what, do you mean like, well, I got leggings separate? Well, maybe um, bib and brace, that's a bit dear, I expect, is it? I don't know, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. What have you got? Well, I got Gore-Tex. That might cost me about 250-odd quid, but that's a few years ago, mind. Yeah. Um, the leggings are starting to leak a little bit, but, you know. you just got leggings in the suit, you have you? Yeah, i got the whole suit. I'm, I do the treatment. No, because I'm 70 now in November. They're going to... They said, oh, what? They're going to get that stuff for me. Who is? Family. Oh, the family. They're, They're going to treat you, are they? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> when they, when they, when they when it's his birthday, Why do you say that? Friend. My fucking legs are almost gone. He pays all the fucking meals. <laughs> <My> <laughs> legs are almost gone. My, my Payback legs, time, Reg. My legs are almost gone. Anyway, here we are then. We're going to yeah. sort out some, oh, is it plenty of bait. Well, a few gallons of maggots. Um, yeah, I just want to. And we got some casters there as well, but look good. Good. There's Clyde's gear. Get my gear out now, and Richie's, and uh, only a few of us here. Never mind, we'll have a little diddler and see who wins. Thanks now. Just walking down to the pegs. Top in Morgan's car park. Dip nets must be used. Polite notice. Car parks in the area are left at owner's risk. Okay, no problem. Let's get through the here. Right, two, two trips on this. Have a look at the the menu. Well, what a lovely day. Let's hope the rain stays off. Beautiful looking lake. This is called School Lake. Mr. Crabtree water look. Lily bed, big lily bed in the middle. Nice inside swims. Left and right. How about these three here then? These three look okay. Yeah. Yeah. We haven't got far to go. No. Looks good. So are we going to do this? Three straws? I had a book there and also. Okay. You've got, you got a pen and paper. <laughs> See, these might be all right. That looks good. Yeah. Have you fished this area before? Well, these are normally the flyers. These here oh, well, win all the matches. Do they? But like Clive was saying, they haven't been doing so good on them. Like, you know? Okay, well. So with these, them. if you want to do, I'll probably just check a little message to the island. Island? What island? That island. That's a lily bed. The lily bed island. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <you're damn> <laughs> <laughs> The lily bed island. <laughs> Uh, we have a laugh anyway. What's Clive filling at now? <coughs> He's doing the peg. 39, 40, and 41, or 1, 2, 3. Okay, are we going to fiddle this in? 1, 2, 3. Peg 
Well, well they got numbers actually on yeah, the pegs. 30, 39, 40 and 41. Right, so one, two, three, yeah? Not, not that one. Why? Well, you reckon if you get kids in the corner, you're better off ah. having three on the pegs. Oh, okay. Yeah, you get kids All right, that's right. Yeah, I've done it. You'll be throwing beats anyway. Yeah, okay. <coughs> Are they there anyway? They're sat there anyway. Not catching anything. Really, are they? Oh, catching anything? Oh, I'll tell you one catching. Oh no, phone. Guy's phone's going. No, I don't answer that. You? <laughs> okay. It's easy. Yeah, there are always the nuisances when you're fishing. Okay, do you want to put my hat? I'm going to go back now, I know what it is. Oh. Money. No, it's not. No, she's very good with money. She's got all the money. I got all the money back for her, didn't I? Oh, yeah. Did Martin Truman help me? Now, how do you do that? He used to work for the police, uh, really? with, uh, proceeds of crime. So okay. He told, me what to, he told me what to tell the judge. Oh. He had no right to take her money off her. You know, you can't leave someone in a destitute state <coughs> no. with a washing machine and this and that. Who done that? The government. Oh, do they? So they have to fucking give her back 20,000. All right. Oh, no, what do you want? Go on. I can't go for it. I'll go, for go on, it. you go I'll first. I'll have a three in here. Yeah. Have a middle one. We'll have some middle. We've got the middle one. Yep, i got the middle one. You, are you, seriously? No, 39. You've got oh, the end one. End peg. You've got the end peg. I'll have the middle one. 40. 41. So I've got, got the middle you one. You've got the middle one. There's no way you can fail not out. Not to win on your peg. Right. Why? But if Tony Mac comes, you'll carry it. No, 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 no. Well, no, no, no don't think it's going on you. Yeah. <laughs> I can't fail on you. Not, not to win. All right, let's go and see that. <laughs> you can get like jamming, though. Yeah, but he wouldn't, he wouldn't be able to say, oh, I didn't realise there was a better part. Oh, yeah, he's not going to be able to say, oh, I didn't realise there was a better part. Okay, peg. Peg number 41. Got lines to my right. Richie and Clive to my left. So I'm in the middle. And here we are. School Lake. Morgan's Pond in Newport. <laughs> Richie's laughing. <laughs> okay, Rich? Are you okay? I'm okay. <laughs> Rather posh voice you had then? <laughs> Yeah, well, quite a big lily pad. I don't know. Play wranglers next to me. Don't think they've caught anything yet. Okay. Looking good. Rixy next to me. And then Clive on the end. <laughs> I don't know if this is working or not. Well, I've started on a waggler, catching a couple of little roach. Keep feeding, trip feeding a few maggots. Well, I've got the birds feed in anyway, if nothing else. Little bite then. Yep. In again, little small fish. A roach.
Come on, maggots. Oh, you. I know you had him. Right, Rich. So I need to get as close to that reed bed as possible there. It's not fishing very well, though, is it? Yeah. Yeah. Skimmer, little skimmer. Skimmer? Yeah. Yeah. I was on a single maggot again. I keep on drip feeding some maggots. See if see if they come on. Oh, yeah, small one again. Oh, what have we got here? A little perch. A baby perch. Bit of an aquarium. Let's get a scorcher. Yeah. <laughs> I got a solar morens feeding. Yeah, 
there's a little nibble, come in. Yep. Yeah. That one maybe. Oh, another rope. I'm using a bigger hook because I'm hoping to get some F ones. I want to make sure that I don't lose them. And I'm catching these small roach. Oh, that more end's gonna have it in a minute. On the drop now. Suck the maggot. Kind of thick and fast, these roach. Oh, it's a red this time. Beautiful red. Well, I can see an F1 that's just come on the surface. <laughs> Oh, you got there, Rich? <laughs> Ooh, what's this? Oh, that's a slightly better route. Change the maggot. Gotta skim on the water now. It's moving that float a little bit. Alright, see we got a fish now.
What's all this? Let me see. Another tiny roach. Destroy that. I've got a couple of bubbles on the inside line, so I might go for that in a minute. I see Richie's catching a couple on my left. Oh, bump that one. Is that Breen, Clive? Okay, I'm going to come off this now. I'm going to go and try on the inside line because there's been a few bubbles. So let me just put this away. the collar. Just nip the end off, get the juices out. Makes it wriggle a bit better. Side one rich. So keep the maggots going across, I think, just in case. Oop, just had a little nibble on that worm then.
in the river waiting in it for these F ones. But they are certainly bigger fish. The question is, do I keep going to small fish? I'll sit up for a slightly bigger fish. Expected, but see a bigger fish. Well, yeah, so looks lively enough. on the pole, Richie's catching uh, on the long pole, but he's coming a bit short now. His arms must be aching. <laughs> His arms must be aching. <laughs> well, you were going to bite a chuck then. The light's gone a bit funny, isn't it? Light's gone a bit funny. Well, I had a few bites then, and as soon as I put the camera on it, they stopped. <laughs> you had it off the camera for a while, Yeah. Well, no, yeah, I've only got three hours on it, you know. There's a bike developing then. <laughs> I tell you what, I've got them fizzing then over there now. <laughs> I might go back on that feeder now in a minute. Yeah, let's go back on. Oh, hang on. Yeah, oh, there we are. So, oh, this one. This one. Oh, oh. Only a small one. Oh, looks like a skimmer. Yeah, small skimmer. They look a bit hollow bellied, these fish, though, don't they? Hollow bellied. Yeah. Yeah, skimmer.
Try another worm. <laughs> Richie's bloody trying to copy me now. He always copies everything I do. <laughs> uh, another worm. Ooh, what a slime on that line, then, yeah. I just swallowed a load of slime. Bream slime. Oi, stop eating my swim. By developing, it's an awkward light now, isn't it? I swim stamp to produce a bit now. Another skimmer. Oh, I shouldn't do this, but I'm swinging it because it's quite small. But uh, save the time and effort. Let's re hook that worm a bit. Bit of, as long as there's a little bit of life in the worm, that's okay. Just keep feeding, drip feeding casters over the float. And at the same time, keep catapulting maggots over the far side. Next to those lily beds. Bubbles in the swim, telling me that the skimmers are having a little peck, a little bite, then developing. There he goes. Oops, nearly. This time. Could be little liners, the fins touching the line as a float. When you get a bite, it normally just moves and s away slightly. I tell you what, they're fizzing like mad over there. I'm going to have a little go on that feed a sec. Yep. Let's give this a little rest for a second. Inside swim. Bloody pole stuck together, isn't it? This has got wet. I'm 
to wrap this hook around the pole. Right. Now I've got a 14 size hook, you've got a running a running feeder along the line, like a boat rig, see? So what I'm gonna do now put the worm on. the collar, just snip the end off, put the tail into the ground bait. Right. Get the ground bait now. Get that tail into the ground bait. Yeah. Right. I've line clipped it so it should get spot on every time, so let's have a look. Yeah, there we go. 